Hello everyone and today I will continue the tutorial about the facade and as you see we will do the facade like you see in, in this picture it's pretty simple but with some special panels and with the uh, not uh, uh, with around the door so uh, let's get started let's go to the uh, some elevation view doesn't matter which which one I will use this one and now we need uh, like few levels here like one two three four five six let's create the six levels i will use the copy and multiply from that side to that side four five and six okay and let's create the roof one it's a little bit seven now we'll go back to the level one and now we'll create the wall uh, let's choose some uh, some other wall like this. Okay, let's go to the 2D. Uh, I will use the fine and shaded one. Okay, this wall. And I want to uh, change the height to the level 7 like this. Okay, now we have the our wall and uh, how to create a facade with uh, this uh, window. Actually, as you understand, it's not window. Uh, this is one, it's also uh, the storefront or curtain wall. So let's go to the wall and we will choose the storefront here. And let's go to the first level first. Here the, on the first level, we can see the one big storefront. And let's create it like storefront somewhere here. Okay, let's go back to 3D view because it's uh, easy to understand uh, what you're changing, how it looks like, and uh, whatever. Okay, to the level two, we can see here it's until level two. Uh, we don't have any mullions, so let's change it. We need to go to the edit type. Uh, and here you can see vertical grids, layout, maximum spacing, we will make like fixed number. And here also fixed number. Let's apply. Here the number one, here the number five. Let's create also number one. Okay, and now we need only delete the middle, middle part. Okay, let's do it. Here the Mava Mullion. Let's delete it. And we need to delete this part too. Okay, we get our window, but it's actually it's uh, so high. Uh, I mean the so big one and I think it's like it looks like 25. No, it's not 25. Uh, but it's maybe No, it's not maybe. Uh it's around 4. Oh, not 400. 4,000 okay and not so big I think it's uh, offset from the top like maybe maybe 500 and offset from the base it's around 600 or even yeah it's 600 so now it's uh, simply same the window but the frame is different let's change the frame too so to change frame you need go to the vertical mullions here and we need change the border uh, as you see here we don't have a border for us so what we're gonna do uh, I will hide this window now like this uh, let's go to the families we need go to the um, mullions curtain wall mullions here uh, quad one. Oh no, rectangle here. And let's uh, uh, let's duplicate it. Duplicate. We will change the name. Like it will be f fifty by maybe five hundred. I think so. Let's do it. And now we need change the size inside. Five hundred thickness here. Let's type it OK and let's change it here. Let's go to the edit type uh, here. 
five to five hundred. Actually, you just can copy it, copy everything here inside, like this. Uh, okay, copy, and after that you can again just copy it. Yeah, I want this one, and I want this one. Let's see. Oh, really? It's really nice. It's uh, the right size what we want. Okay, let's leave it like that. And this window we already did it. Uh, now we need window uh, with door, so it's uh, pretty 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 easy. Sorry. Uh, again, first level. Again, we need storefront here already, and the, here will be our door. Again, we get the problem with uh, height. Anyway, the height until level two. Uh, top of set minus uh, six hundred. It will be like this, and after that, uh, no, not, not six hundred minus five hundred, like this. And after that, we need again change the fixed number. Okay, let's make it zero. But he will say no. I want only one. Okay, we will do one, and after that I need the delete this segment, both, and I need to change the height of that one. So standard door, it's uh, standard door, it's around two hundred two thousand one hundred, but here it's around two thousand three hundred. So let's do it, two thousand three hundred. Oh, unpin, 2200, okay, uh, we don't need mullion here, just by tap, choose the mullion, unpin and delete, and I think our door to, ah yes, of course it's too big, it should be around 900 or 1100 we will make 1100 so it's like this and we will we should delete this mullion okay nice i think everything perfect uh, except we need the door here okay let's check it do you have the door or if we don't have we should to load it uh, yes, of course, we don't have a door. Let's go to the um, insert, load family. Let's check in the library. Uh, we will go to the door. Where is our door? Uh -huh, here our door and let's check it out. Mm -hmm, we have the door. Uh, we we can recognize it by curtain wall single glass door so we should uh, check if do we have the curtain only curtain door we can put uh, to the curtain wall so let's choose uh, this one okay open up open it up after that uh, choose the panel this panel and change to the door here our door so nice, we have the door. So the what else? As you see here, the, we have the same story, but we will use not door. We will use the um, some tricky way. We will create uh, here the. Um, I will show you. <laughs> As you know, in Revit uh, we have the family uh, with the the type of the door, but uh, let's say show you. Uh, if we will go to the wall and let's put the uh, our storefront somewhere here. Oh, sorry, it's not on, on not on the wall because we are drawing in 3D. So okay, and let's change it like one one. Oh, sorry, one one here and one here. Um, let's try to place uh, this door. So if I will uh, choose this panel unpin it of course we don't have any door except this door this curtain door here so um, maybe you will think like we can add like this but no because uh, this door only except to put on, on the wall so how you can do it uh, 
just easiest way uh, choose this panel and change it to the wall for example this wall like this so it's pretty same but you can able put your door here so it's a really easy way uh, you no need to change family you no need to create family you just can't place this family and use it uh, this is what about the door let's now talk about this panel panels uh, this is uh, custom panels nothing special this panel is same like that one i will show you the principle how you can use it so now we will create the family let's go to the uh, file new family uh, in my case i should define raise my families uh, family templates uh, English one and we need the curtain curtain wall panel this one. Let's open up it uh, I will go to straight away to the uh, left view. Uh, I will use the blend uh, Okay, modify uh, Let's use rectangular and chain from that side And let's do it like this to this side uh, let's create it like 600 uh, That line I want to the lock it and Exterior Yeah to exterior view right so and I need the the parameter for that part Let's create the new parameter like depth And let's do it uh, yeah, I think uh, we will leave it like instance Not instance uh, type Okay, and after that we need uh, edit Also from that side to that side lock everything Okay, let's go to 3d Let's go to the exterior view and now we need to connect this part to that side and this to that one. Okay, I think everything okay. Let's check it in 3D. Uh, let's check our parameter. Let's change it like uh, 1200 like this. Yes, everything working and let's load it into the project. Let's go to 3D and now we will change this panel. Uh, now we can see it here. So the wrong direction. How we can uh, fix it. Let's go again back to 3D. Back to the family. Uh, on the plan. I will just mirror it. Just uh, switch off the copy. We don't need copy. We need only one. And I will use a line to align this line and lock it. Let's load it again back to the our project, overrides, go to 3D. And again we get the problem, <laughs> wrong direction. Anyway, seems it working, it's already great. So like this, I'll check again this one to this one okay load to the project override existing let's go to 3d everything working okay nice and if we will go to the inside of this thing we can change it to 600 let's write okay and everything okay as you see this is pretty similar what we want it's not so big like uh, here here it's a bit uh, tiny okay we can also do it so what what about if we'll change to the 3000 it's 4000 i think okay and that one unpin here we can make 3000 okay 200 
just will switch that one. I can just delete it. After that I will use this thing, unpin, front view, somewhere here, that one, somewhere here, and let's correct that one. <laughs> okay, like this, and the last thing we need to delete this modern just will delete this segment unpin okay we get what we want of course we need to change the size uh, i think we just can change the size of that one it's 2400 by 2000, 2400. We will change it like 2600, maybe. And let's make it like 100 here. No, 50 here. Okay. We can change this wall to other one. Not... Not this one. Some generic wall, yeah. Okay. Yes, of course we can we can just uh, create here the some moodens, but I think guys you can already do it by uh, without me, without uh, but I think guys you can do it it's alone. Okay guys, that's it. Uh, this just continue uh, tutorial about the facades. If you have again the questions about the facade, you can ask. Uh, if you have some advice, also leave some comments. And thank you for watching and see you next time.